This week, Congress is set for an unprecedented hearing on UFOs, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. It's like when they come up with like a fancy word for a toilet. This is largely in reaction to the claims made here on News Nation by whistleblower David Grush, who claimed the government is holding information from the public. Here's a taste. An official intelligence representative at a high level from the U.S. government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. We have spacecraft from another species. We do. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of well naturally um when you recover something that's either landed or crashed um sometimes you encounter um dead pilots and uh, believe it or not as fan as fantastical as that sounds it's true all right grush is going to be joined by two retired navy pilots okay david fravor and ryan graves each of them claim to have seen ufos that are on your screen now we'll have from uh, the political side or even the governmental side, they'll say, yeah, but a lot of those can actually be explained. Then do it. OK, forget about, you know, just adding salt to a lot of crazy sauce uh, with people. Do the job of transparency. We need it to build trust. So what are we going to get this Wednesday? How should we set our expectations? We have an exclusive interview with the man who has been really the spark plug instrumental behind the scenes to bring these witnesses and video evidence forward. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Christopher Mellon. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. And feel free, as always, uh, to push back on whatever doesn't go with your uh, reckoning. And I'll start with a point of potential cynicism or at least skepticism. I think not demanding that NASA be there not demanding that more big shots from these different uh, departments and programs be there or be held to account for why they won't come should have been a focus. And we're setting ourselves up for disappointment with these hearings. What's your take? I think there's time to get to that. This is a process. The objective here, I think, and the opportunity is for the American people to come to better understand why it is that so many in Congress actually take seriously the idea that there are UFOs, UAP that are violating U.S. airspace and the associated rumor allegation that we may have in our possession off-world technology recovered from someone else's space program. And those are things that are hard for people to get their minds around. And I think this, this hearing is an opportunity for the public to hear from naval aviators who are utterly credible, responsible people, to understand what they're experiencing, what they're encountering in the field. And this is happening on a widespread basis. There are hundreds right. and hundreds of these incidents going on. Dave well, Grush two will things, also Chris. then separately address the recovery issue. First of all, all right, let's deal with Grush. Do you think he can name names? Uh, and say more than he has said publicly before. Do you think any of these guys who are testifying can say more than they already have? I mean, that would kind of be the starting line of these hearings being progress. I expect Dave will provide some new information that we have not heard before. And Dave has provided specific leads and information and name names to the intelligence community inspector general. So Congress needs to get that information from the inspector general. There are some limits to what he can say by law in open session in terms of identifying other personnel in the intelligence community. He's under a lot of uh, restrictions and, and oaths and the laws are very severe. The penalties are very severe if he cross those red lines. So he has to be careful, but he's very forward leaning. I think he will provide new information. The public has not heard before and I think Ryan and um, and Dave Fravor, Commander Fravor, will also help people better understand and appreciate uh, the degree to what, uh, which this is going on. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.